Inside a bag, there are three green balls, two red balls, and four yellow balls. Two balls are randomly drawn without replacement. Calculate the probability of drawing one red ball and one yellow ball. So let's consider, what's the probability of drawing one red ball and one yellow ball? So the probability of drawing one red and one yellow. Well, there are two different ways in which we could draw a red ball and a yellow ball. We could draw a red ball first, and then on the second ball we could draw a yellow ball. Or we could draw a yellow ball first and then a red ball. So in other words, this probability is going to be the sum of drawing red, then yellow, and drawing yellow, then red. And in order to find out these two probabilities, let's draw a probability tree diagram. So there are actually three probabilities here. There are three possible outcomes that we have to consider. So on the first row, we could get a green ball, or we could get a red ball, or we could get a yellow ball. So because of that, we're going to have three branches coming out of our probability tree. And here we're told there are three green balls. And how many balls have we got all up? We've got three, two, four, so that's nine balls all up. So the probability of drawing a green ball on the first draw is going to be three over nine. Now there are two red balls. So the probability of drawing a red ball on the first row is going to be two over nine. And the probability of drawing a yellow ball, there are four yellow balls, so it's going to be four over nine. Okay, once we've drawn the green ball, there are still some green balls left in the bag and still some red balls and still some yellow balls. So from this green ball, we, we now have another three branches coming out. We could draw a green ball, a red ball, or a yellow ball. Now, what's the probability of drawing a green ball if we've already drawn a green ball on, in our first draw? Let's quickly draw a bag and imagine that we have a bunch of balls here. Imagine that we have three green balls and we have two red balls and we also have four yellow balls. Well, if we on the first draw have already drawn out a green ball, on our second draw, we're going to have one fewer green ball than we had before, which means that the probability of now drawing a green ball is going to be, there are only two green balls left um, in this bag, and all up there are only eight balls. So the probability of drawing a green ball, considering that we've these are drawn without replacement, is going to be two over eight. What about the probability of drawing a red ball? Well, there are two red balls here and eight balls all up, so that's also going to be a probability of two over eight. So the probability that, we've, that we draw a yellow ball, given that we've drawn a green ball on our first draw, is going to be one, two, three, four. There are four yellow balls and eight balls all up, so that's going to be four over eight. Now, if we were to repeat that process, we have to repeat that process a couple more times in order to fill out this probability tree. So here for red, we've got three possibilities. We could have green, red, and yellow. So this is, this is remember, this is the outcome that we've got a red ball on the first draw. So if we had a red ball in the first draw, let's quickly draw our balls again. We're going to have three green and four yellow. So here we're imagining that the first draw we reach in and we draw a red ball. So what's the probability from this bag now of drawing a green ball? Well, there are three green balls and eight balls all up. So the probability is three over eight. What about the probability of drawing a red ball? Well, that's going to be 1 over 8. And a yellow ball, that's going to be 4 over 8. Okay, this is going well. We've just got three more branches to go. So here, imagine that we draw a yellow ball on our first draw. Well, we could draw a red, sorry, a green, a red, or a yellow on our second. And again, if we've got our bag, we've got, imagine we've still got three green, we've got two red, and we've got a few yellow balls here four yellow. So imagine that we draw out a yellow ball on the first draw. So we've got one few fewer yellow ball than the first draw. So here what's the probability of getting a green ball? Well there are eight balls and three of them are green. So this is going to be three over eight. Here the probability of getting a red ball that's going to be two over eight. Two over eight. And the probability of getting a yellow ball that's going to be three over eight. So we're interested in two outcomes, red, yellow, and yellow, red. So red, yellow, that corresponds to red on the first ball, yellow on the second ball. So red, yellow is here. So the probability of getting red, yellow, so red on the first, yellow on the second, is going to be 2 over 9 times 4 over 8. So the probability associated with the first branch multiplied by the probability associated with the second branch. So 2 over 9 
times 4 over 8. Well, 4 over 8 is the same as a half, so that's going to be 2 over 9 times a half. Here we've got a common factor of 2, so this is going to be 1 over 9 multiplied by 1 over 1, and that's just going to be 1 over 9. So that's the probability of drawing a red on the first draw and a yellow ball on the second draw. What about yellow-red? So that's yellow on the first draw, red on the second draw. So the probability here of yellow-red. We're going to do something very similar. We're going to get 4 over 9 times 2 over 8. 4 over 9 times 2 over 8. 2 over 8 is a quarter, so it's going to be 4 over 9 times a quarter. And here we've got a common factor again of 4, so this is going to be 1 over 9 times 1 over 1. So this is going to be 1 over 9 as well. So here, we've got the probability of 1 red and 1 yellow is going to be 1 over 9, that's the probability of red and yellow, plus the probability of yellow red. It's going to be 1 over 9 again, so that's going to be 2 over 9.